It's what's given me happiness. It's what's given me, you know, everything that I'm getting. I'm just grateful because this is my life now. This, this ball has helped me do a lot of things that, you know, most people can't do. <laughs> or 20 that's when I was like you know Chimi you got to look presentable you got to look unique you got to look memorable for people who if they don't watch basketball they see you they remember you just because of how you look so I started growing out my hair in 2015 almost seven years now and I was wearing the goggles and then the headband and I was thinking to myself who else looks like me nobody and like first time I met him I'm like who's that guy and he had another, he had like really good flow. So they was like, yo, this guy really jumped out of the gym. He jumped out of the gym. And first time I watched him play, I was like, wow, this is something. Shout out to my parents, they're diplomats. And because they were working in different countries, that's how I grew up. So I was two years old when I moved to Australia and I lived there for four and a half years the first time moved back to Nigeria, moved to Turkey with my mom and two of my brothers, lived there for three and a half years. In between there, my dad went to Switzerland. So I joined him in Switzerland after Turkey and it was time for me to start high school. And for me, Australia was my home. That's where I grew up. That's what, the place I loved the most. And it was an easy choice to go back to Australia, which is where I started playing basketball for the first time at 13 years old. My dream then was to be a football player, but I tried to play basketball then at 13 years old. I picked it up, wasn't that good. I was very raw. Uh, Chiron was like a skinny, skinny kid, couldn't shoot the ball at all. But you know, you could see, you know, he wanted, he wanted to be good. He was actually a big reason why our high school team did so well. He was able to, you know, be there with me, um, scoring the ball and rebounding. To go to college, I emailed hundreds of schools, hundreds of schools. And I spent my time doing that and a lot of people didn't believe in me back then. So, you know, I made two highlight tapes that are still on YouTube and I sent them to so many schools and I only got two responses. Nothing came from it. I almost gave up. And then I was playing in a national tournament with Dante and Dante at that point was going to be a lottery pick. So everyone was watching him. We lost in the, you know, the gold medal match. And there was a guy that came up to me straight after the game. And he said, are you trying to go to America? And in my head, I'm like, this is what I've been waiting for. Like, of course. And probably three or four days later, he called me and I remember being in my bedroom and he said, yeah, you have a, you have a full scholarship offer to go to Northeast Community College in Nebraska. And as soon as he said that, I just remember crying. Like I was crying on the bed and I was just so angry at everyone because they all said, nah, you can't play. You're never going to play in America. So I just remember crying so much joy, so much anger, so much relief. I think the, the biggest thing that fuels him is just, you know, him being so young, he wasn't the main guy. He wasn't the, the guy that was told he was gonna be able to do anything with basketball. And he's just been able to prove every, everyone wrong. And he's gonna continue to keep proving everyone wrong. Are you the most confident guy in the world? Hmm. I don't know who's number one if it's not me. I wish you guys could see the perception of me when I was in high school in Australia. I was probably the most hated person in high school just because of how I felt about myself and the dreams that I had. Because in Canberra, the only person to make it out of Canberra basketball wise is Patty Mills. And the fact that I said it out loud that I'm going to play basketball professionally, I'm going to get a scholarship, people just didn't like that. And the chip on my shoulder continued to grow and I always remember playing with the passion. Chima, he's gonna be the, 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 the loudest guy in the room, the guy that wants the attention. Even in practice. In practice, for example, like we gonna tell him to cut, he's gonna cut, he's gonna be like, yo, I got the ball, I'm alone, give me the ball. Just joking around, just like this, like, yo, you didn't see me? I would block a shot and I would yell. I would yell as loud as anyone could hear me. I would dunk the ball and I would stare at someone, like, because I was just so angry and I just wanted to prove everyone wrong, so. There was definitely times where those people saying those things definitely was loud in my ear, but 
Yeah. And people who doesn't know him, they're gonna be like, oh, he arrogant, or he just like, he just wanna show another personality of him, but that's not true, that's him. He's like that off the court, on the court, and that's it, that's him though. Everything about me is natural. If the cameras weren't here, I'd be the same person. You can go back to watch my second division highlights, my highlights from last year, I was the same person. You know, once you kind of get to know him, you know, he's a, a guy that cares for his people, um, always gonna look out for his own. And, um, yeah, he's just, a, he's just, he's one of my best friends. Just watching games in, in France last season, he was in Orleans, and it, he fit in, in that idea that we had, no? About athleticism, young guys with a lot of hungry, playing not so many minutes, 23, but showing a lot of energy, a lot of intensity, like an hyperactive guy. We thought that he could be ready for the next step to play in ECB, to play in BCL. I love Manresa. I, I just love everything about this situation. Every single person in that locker room I like, I care about, I want to see outside of practice. That's not normal on a professional team. Normally it's you get paid, come in, do your job, try and win games and move on to the next team. Here, this is the most fun I've ever had in anything I've ever done in my life. We create something since the beginning of the year, we carry something together and we so like, we really tight. Like we really, it's a family for us. We really a family and we work so hard in practice. That's what we play like in the game. That's, that's what we are like. We really a tough team on deep, especially on defense and offense. The most fun team I've ever played on, the most fun team to watch in Europe this season. I feel like this team in 10 years, people will still be talking about this team and that, that's awesome. Maybe Manresa fans show the love on him and all of the others. And Chima is a kind of guy that wants to return that love. No? And... Every day that I wake up and I'm here, I'm getting paid to play a game that I love, to play a game that I'm good at, and to play in front of these fans, like, couldn't be better. <laughs>